Today on Toy Shiz, we're playing Donkey Kong Country 3. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new King Kong version 3 action figure that will be a part of their upcoming Father's Day store exclusives. Store exclusives meaning first to market. It will be at Target first in and around June, in and around Father's Day, so it might make a nice gift for dear old dad if he's a, a giant nerd or a fan of King Kong or whatever. It doesn't need too many reasons these days. But yeah, you can start actually finding this at Target now. It kind of showed up early. Here's everyone involved with the makings of this figure, so thanks for that. And here's the barcode as well if you want to try and find it in stores. Open it up. You get to see a nice photo of King Kong. You get a nice Look at the figure. Now, this one's a little bit different. All of them really share the same body for King Kong. The last two releases, it just has different paint, different accessories. It's a little monster creatures from Skull Island, so it should be a fun endeavor. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot King Kong-sized cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys King Kong version 3. Let's check them out. And here's a new Kong and the monsters all out of their packaging. You see, you get some extra hands, you get an extra head, and the real draw for me in this set is you get a really large stick for old King Kong to hold, and then you got two monsters from Skull Island. But really, in checking these things out, you do get some extra hands, which is always nice. As all the other King Kongs we've looked at, this is the third one now, it's all mostly the same, all the same articulation, but this new head is really cool as well. You get the battle damage look, you get some really nice paint details, but this time the mouth is articulated. You can open and close it, and that's actually really cool. They put some nice detail in there. It looks wet. Looks like the inside of King Kong's mouth. So hands down, that's an awesome add-on. And then you get this really cool Pteranodon monster. One thing, I do wish that he came with a stand. The stand that you see, I just put it in there to hold him upright, but great. Great paint all over this guy. Very old world, old dinosaur markings on him. No articulation in the wings of the feet, but the head will rotate. It's got really nice eyes on him, really creepy, really cool looking stuff. And then the jaw will open and close, much like the new Kong head. So very well done. I just wish he stood a little bit better. And then you have this like dimorphodon worm dinosaur looking guy, which again, Really nicely painted, really nicely done. He has an articulated jaw. You get to see all the teeth, the eyes, and his neck will twist as well. So again, these are really the, the big major add-on is getting some creatures for Kong to interact with on your shelves. But um, yeah, this guy, I love the battle damage on his face. He's a lot more cut up this time around, but I love this angry, gritting teeth look to him. Gorgeous paint every which way. So again, this is the same exact Kong body we've seen a dozen times. It has the same exact articulation that I've gone over in all my other Kong videos. I'll have links if you want to check them out. But the stick is the new added accessory, and that's really well done as well. Of all the accessories you could expect for King Kong, a giant stick, yeah, that's definitely where it's at. Swapping the heads, easy peasy as usual. You can put the other one on with the articulated jaw. And he does look great as well with this head. Again, it all matches. It all looks cool. So it's a very nice looking King Kong figure. Now here comes the one caveat to everything. How many King Kongs do you need? We're on our third iteration of the NECA Kong. Now, they do make lots of Godzillas, so now we're making lots of Kongs. So it's not a problem in that sense. And the cool thing is that between each of these Kongs, with a fourth one on the way, by the way, you can swap out all the heads, the hands, you know, the dinosaur, little monsters, guys, everything. So everything is interchangeable, and I like that. So if you really want, like, an ultimate Kong with all the different accessories, sure, go that route. If this is your first time getting a King Kong, I think this is now the best version of King Kong. All the different accessories, the articulated head. I really like the colorized version of the King Kong, to be honest with you. But I do like this one in the sense of the dinosaur monsters. So again, I won't recommend and say if you have another one, how many King Kongs do you need? But if you're a huge giant King Kong fan, sure, it's a no-brainer. But if you've not gotten any of the King Kongs yet, I would say this one probably the most beneficial in terms of the heads, the hands, and then the weapons and accessories. And if you wanted to scale him with other NECA toys, let's say Godzilla, 
Much like the other Godzilla figures, this Kong is taller than most. They do look okay together, but in the sense of like perfect scale in that sense, you kind of make up your own mind. But yeah, they do look good together, I will say that. And then as far as matching them up with, let's say, the new Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates toys, NECA is a no-brainer. They're clearly the winner. Sculpt, paint, detail. More of the adult collector type toy, whereas the Playmates ones are more geared towards children, price point, all that jazz. But it is fun to see them matched up. And like I always say, you get the NECA for yourself and you get the Playmates for the kiddos. If you want to have some fun, just as because we've been getting a lot of gorillas and monkeys this year in action figure form, McFarlane toys their new Gorilla Grodd figure and see how he kind of stacks up with this guy. But what the fun thing is, it doesn't exactly fit, but you can have some fun swapping out the heads if you really want to. And you might be able to take some fun photos as well. I mean, like I said, you can have an armored King Kong, but I think the real fun here is that if you have, let's say, three of these King Kongs and you put them with Gorilla Grodd, hey, you know, Superman, Batman, trapped in Gorilla City trying to escape, might make for a nice Gorilla Monkey Army. I'm just saying, they look pretty cool. So, in that sense, I will say, yeah, it's a great, another great King Kong figure. Do you need another King Kong figure? I'm going to leave that one up. To you, the monsters are definitely a plus. Love the Pteranodon looking pterodactyl guy. Love the little Dimorphodon slug dinosaur guy. He's great. I love the articulated jaw and the stick. I think those are great accessories. You have other King Kongs, consider this. Do you really need another one? How many King Kongs is too many King Kongs? But if you're looking to get it for a gift, maybe for Father's Day, like I said, I think Dad will be very, very happy with it. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this King Kong. Will you be picking one up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything King Kong. And out of the three, with, again, one on the way, which is your favorite so far? And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember this Father's Day, treat Dad right. Let Dad know that you know he is one giant nerd. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 